Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my Java series. In this short video, I just want to explain to you how this series is going to work and how I'm going to do things. But before we do that though, you still may be wondering, is it worth it to spend my time learning Java? Now that answer depends on what your goals are, of course. Uh, do you want to become a computer science for your professional career? Or do you want to learn to code as a hobby uh, to make cool stuff? Um, if either of those things are true, then learning Java programming is really a good idea in my opinion. Uh, Java programming language has been around for a long time, longer than most of us watching has been alive, including me. It's also been one of the most popular because of the advancements it has over the competition languages that have existed. Uh, once you learn Java, you'll be able to jump into many different topics like general purpose software development, like making desktop applications, uh, stuff like that, uh, web development, making websites or Android app development, Minecraft plugins and modding, Discord bots, toasters, robots, robot toasters, and the list truly goes on forever. You can do a lot of stuff, stuff that you wouldn't even think is possible. You can do pretty much anything is the point. And even if you don't end up using Java on a frequent basis after learning it, you can take these same concepts and apply them to learning any other major language that exists and is popular today. For example, Java's dad, C++, is still a very popular language and they are very similar, but not the exact same, of course. Speaking as a person who knows both languages, if you learn Java first, you can then jump into C++ and learn it much more easily because there are some much more tricky nuances for beginners than the Java language has in the C++ language. So learning Java ahead of time um, or before C++, for example, is a it's very helpful because Java is much easier in my opinion. So yeah, it really depends on what you want to do, what your goals are and all that stuff, but hopefully that provides some insight for you. Um, in every single one of my videos in this series, I'll be doing a few things. The first thing is that in the description box of each video, I will leave a link into the code for that episode so that you can bookmark the link and then you can come back to it whenever you want to in case you forget something or you just want to review it. So, and that way you don't need to rewatch the entire video, but your reviews are greatly appreciated. So you can come back to the link that you saved. You can read up on the concept, like for example, creating variables. If you don't remember how to do that or there's something that you forgot or you want to come back and review it, you can check out the code, read it, read the um, read the documentation for it, and or you can just watch the video, or both, maybe. And uh, yeah, so that's an example of why you might want to do that. Along with that link, I usually put a few other links for supplemental resources, like articles or blogs that explain the topic, um, so that you can get another perspective on the topic if interested. So, you know, so maybe I missed something. I try to be as de detailed as possible, always. That's why I made this channel. But, um, you know, I'm not perfect, so maybe I missed something or, you know, like I said, another perspective might be helpful on something that you're learning in Java. The other thing I will do is also drop a link to our Discord community in the description below. I really recommend that you join this because there you can connect with fellow programmers or even ask for help on something you, don't, you either don't understand or maybe some code you're stuck on. So you can ask for help, get some friends, you know, stuff like that. It's a pretty cool community. Um, yeah. And furthermore, there are two books that I recommend that you read while watching these videos, although you don't need to. Um, the videos alone you can learn off of. Uh, a lot of people have done that so far and found it, you know, good. Uh, good. And uh, But I'm a big fan of books, to be honest, and they often can offer more information, at least in my opinion, um, if you find the right book, at least. So the major book that I recommend for learning Java, I recommend this to everybody. It's my favorite book. It's how I learn Java, to be honest. It's called Java, the Complete Reference 11th Edition. It's on the screen right now. Um, it's by far one of my favorite programming books, and I recommend it to everyone, like I said. This series is largely based upon that book, so if you watch both the book, if you read both the book and watch the videos, you might find them as a good pair to learn stuff, or learn Java, rather. So, I recommend it highly. Um, there's also another book that I recommend. It's called Introduction to Java Programming and Data Structures, Comprehensive Edition, 11th Edition. Um, it's the book I used in college for learning Java, and it's also another great choice for um, a, a book if you don't want to get the other one, or maybe you want to get both. You can be extra scholarly and get both books and learn that way, even watch the videos, so all three if you want to be a boss, you know. Um, the second book does have a lot of examples. The first book doesn't really have any examples. Well, they have examples, but it doesn't have any practice problems that you could try out. So if you're one of those guys or girls who likes to um, challenge yourself and try out different problems um, without knowing what it is ahead of time, then the second book is a really good choice because they have a ton of uh, practice problems for each section that you could test out your skills on to solidify the thing that you're learning. Um, it's, filled with, it's filled with practice problems and uh, 
yeah and all my homework in college when i was using when i was learning java in college was based upon those problems so they're uh, they're really they're really good okay um the first one does have pr like examples in it but it doesn't really have practice problems okay so hopefully that makes sense they both have examples but the second one has like problems that you can try and then figure out if you did it correctly or not and so for both of those books i'll have some affiliate links in the description below so you can click the amazon link and you can buy the book or just look at it um, if you're interested um, so yeah check it out if you want to the affiliate links do support me so if you do you if you do click those links and then end up buying the book then that does support me which is you know greatly appreciated but you can of course do whatever you want to obtain the book maybe get it from a library or whatever you want to do it's up to you of course um, if you notice that any of the links in my video descriptions are broken or something not just the affiliate, affiliate links but any of the links like the discord link or the code for that episode if any of that is broken or out of date or something like that then please leave a comment in the video below and uh, I see all comments every single day I check my comments and respond to every single one of them usually um, so please leave a comment if you notice something that is off and then I'll fix it if I can over time I've been replacing some of the videos in this series with newer recorded videos so that I can make sure the quality of the video is great and the topic is explained how I want it to be um, if you see that a video is older than some of the other videos don't worry at all the content being taught is still as relevant as it was if I was to record it right now so nothing has changed only new stuff is added in terms of content so don't worry at all the Java language you know for example if if you watch a Java video in like 2015 or 2014 it's the same exact thing as if you were wa watching a Java video in 2021 the concepts at its core have not changed and the language has not really changed only new stuff has been added that doesn't mess with the old stuff okay so don't worry just to let you know in case you notice that um, and I think that's it so I hope you're excited to learn Java and start making awesome stuff have fun by the way just real quick I thought I might as well just show you our discord server so this is what it is if you're not familiar um, maybe you are familiar with discord it's just like a it's kinda like Skype back in the day you can just like talk to people and stuff so you got a general chat you can talk about random stuff I like to you know put random stuff um, you got a top secret clearance chat for my donators um, you can become a donator by clicking the join button below this video you got a suggestions channel for anything like videos you want to see or any modifications I can make and then also down here these are really important you have the programming help channels so you have Java beginners so if you're a beginner in Java you can ask for help here the Java channel for main just regular Java stuff I guess you can use either one though it doesn't matter and we have a Minecraft channel for Minecraft development uh, C++ C languages Python just any general help stuff databases computer science in general or math even um, see yesterday I was asking for help on my math homework so you can do that too we also have a section for web development uh, our community really right now is not too big in the web development uh, department but we will grow over time so if any of you um, you know are familiar with web development you know come stop by say hi or something like that or you can help other people um, speaking of helping other people um, if you do help people um, we try to reward people so we can give you points in the community this community has like a leaderboard um, so if you do dollar sign LB oops I didn't mean to do that so if you do dollar sign LB it shows a leaderboard here so I'm second I have 6200 points and you can earn points by doing challenges um, helping me with stuff um, helping other people with you know help questions like I said um, stuff like that and that's going to expand over time we also have a website cortex.dev I mean cortexdev.us it's pretty crappy right now it's a work in progress I'm d I've been developing it developing it for a little bit but we have the leaderboard here um, so yeah it's a work in progress it's going to be a website for uh, you know programmers to do different different things like make tutorials and stuff like that so I'm pretty excited for that hopefully you are too so yeah anyways so that's it um, check out the channel the discord community if you want to and yeah see you later and peace